Hi everybody, I want to document these batteries that I just bought from Battery Clearinghouse. Uh, these are supposed to be the A123 cells inside of the battery packs. I did see some videos on YouTube of, um, of a guy tearing them down real fast. Uh, he actually sped up the video, but there wasn't a lot of information that I could find online about these. So I wanted to show you what I found out so far. Anyway, these are the cell packs that I bought. You can see they're $72. You get 80 cells uh, in 10 different packs. So there's 8 cells per pack. And uh, I tried to look into them a little bit. Come to find out they come from a server uh, called an EMC VNX 5200 server. And you can actually see the battery pack right here. Uh, that's a little LED. This is a, uh, you'd think it's a positive, but it's not. It's a, uh, a push tab to pull the battery, to, re to retract the battery out of the holder. And uh, you look a little closer here, battery backup power, fault LCD. So anyway, that's the system that it comes out of. It's a, uh, a Dell Array um, system. I've looked online. I've seen them range anywhere from 375 new to you can get them on eBay for a uh, hundred and a quarter. And uh, so this deal that you get at Battery Clearinghouse is a great deal. Now let me show you what I'm working on. I bought 20 packs, and uh, I also at the same time bought some. Scooter batteries. The scooter batteries are 36 volt, and I'm working on those. And um, uh, those are lithium ion. These are supposed to be uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries. So we're going to see. So I wanted to just document a little bit about the batteries themselves. Here is a uh, a pack, and you can see some documentation from EMC. Try to get this into where you can stop the video if you need to. Some part information. When you plug them into the server rack, it looks like there's connection made here on the back end of it. On the opposite end of it, these are just push pins to release the battery. So the first thing that you have to do to take it apart, it's just supposed to be a 12 volt battery, incidentally. First thing you got to do is take out these little hex screws right here. And I've already done that with this battery pack. So I'll just pull the top off to show you what's inside. Alright, now to retrieve this out, you can actually pull up on this one side, and then slide the other end off, hard to do with one hand, slide the other end out, there we go, now it's coming apart, and you can see the entire battery pack now and the BMS. I'll just slowly scan the BMS in case there's something you want to see there. Okay, now getting back to the batteries for a moment, they're supposed to be A123s, but here's what it says on the battery. Let's see if I can get it to where you can read that. Take my light off. FH150-5038-P-2. I also see an F... Is it S300, 475, 306? So those are the batteries that are in there. And you can see there are eight batteries, two in parallel, four in series, to come up with your 12 volt. 
Now let's just test some voltages on this so that you can see what you're working with. Try to get this set up where you can see. <clears throat> let's see if I'm going to be able to do this. Okay, now I've got everything set up. So maybe you can see this a little bit better. Sorry about that. I'm not used to filming and stuff, and I didn't see anything on YouTube, so I wanted to get this out there. You can see on the BMS board your different attachments, and we can check the voltages there on one set of batteries in parallel, two sets, three sets, four sets, etc. And you can see my meter up here, and before anyone says anything about my cheap meter, <laughs> Uh, I do have better ones, but I just prefer using this one because it sits on my stand pretty nice, and it's uh, pretty pretty accurate. That's a Harbor Freight. So anyway, let's check this first battery connection here, and you'll see that I've got 3.32. Jump up to the next one. 6.66. And the next one, 9.99. Oh, wait a minute here. Come on, get a better... Hold that thing, we're moving. 999, and then the last one. 13.33. So you can see you could hook, if you want to, if you can't get this BMS working, you can easily just uh, use another BMS, and there's your points for soldering um, right there. And you can tell I've got a few to play with, so I'll keep looking into this and uh, seeing what... what what other connections we can make on this board? Well, I discovered something interesting. These are not two in parallel. These are all in series. I thought you could just go up them with the bus bar. Oop. But you see that's a negative charge there. So I've got my poles switched around. And there's just the opposite. So as I go down this, you would think those there are all in series. But then they turn around to the other side and come back. Now how I discovered this is if I jump this this way, I'll do it the other way, this way. 6.6, 12.13.2, 19.9, Twenty-six point six, negative and positive. So this battery going down and back up this way. So it's actually twenty-four volts. So in order to use it, I could use twenty-four volts here, or I would have to use one side or the other side, or maybe I can unsolder these joints and just pull them right off the board. <clears throat> and then resolder them together with some wires or a bus bar or something. So I'll keep working on it. Well, I've made just a little bit of progress. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to create 12 volt packs or 20 volt packs. So I saw the videos online where the guy is breaking them apart and harvesting the cells. So I broke it apart real quick made two 12 volt packs <clears throat> and then I broke the end off of course like he did um, what I discovered here let me just put this on the uh, meter make sure the meters in in uh, screen here uh oh can't see it there we go tell you what I'll get it way up here now you can see it all right So what we're dealing with is a uh, negative and positive here at the ends. You can see 13.3 volts, so I got a 12 volt pack right there in the one end that broke off. Now on the other end that broke off, I had to make a little jumper in between the posts at the end. Uh, just a little wire jumper. And then I created Again, 13.3 volts, so I've got a couple of 12-volt packs there that maybe I can 
parallel up. Um, I kind of want to show you how I did this. <clears throat> I have an old oak desk <clears throat> and a uh, little concerned about you know sparks and shocks and different things like that. So here's one of the packs that I'm going to try to leave in a 24 volt version rather than the break it into 12s. And so what I'm going to attempt to do is just bust off this end right here. So I'm going to use this old drawer in my desk for leverage. You see how quick that broke off. And I'm going to have here. Oh, there we go. Carefully try to get that off of there. Well, that was a fun one for the kids at home. And now, now the first couple of packs I did did not do that. So I'll have to figure out what I'm doing wrong. Now let's just go ahead and check this. 26.7 volts. So now I could put those each into packs. Grab my power here. Easier to solder onto now instead of having to worry about soldering in between things on the board. And, uh, and then I can still put my BMS balance leads in here too. So that was some fun. Okay, you ready to try that again? <laughs> I'm a little nervous to do this one. After that last one. Let's see, maybe I don't, am I breaking the right? There we go. it breaks right at the uh, right where you need it to all right here we go there that makes me feel a little bit better I kind of did that one a little slower <laughs> and uh, you can see how clean the edges are when they break off now let's check these connections here. Twenty six point five volts right there. Right at that end. So that's where I'm going to tie into. And that's how you can snap them off into 24 volt chunks. By doing it this way, but once you get your balance leads on and things, there's actually screws in the board. Holes, I should say. So you could screw it in and mount it to a piece of wood, piece of plywood. You could line up six or eight of them all together and screw them right into the plywood and then have your balance leads running out here and uh, tie your power in down there. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. Stay tuned.